We're launching uh, the Handbook of Multidisciplinary and Integrated Care in Heart Failure. Uh, this document is useful for many reasons. We think it's a very accessible, very clear and evidence-based summary of best practice, as well as the state of play as to what's really going on there in heart failure, which is an absolutely enormous condition. Um, we think off the back of this report, we really have every opportunity to hold governments to account across Europe, to all stand behind a clear consensus of what best practice is, um, what we stand to gain from applying it, and why it's important, and how we do it across every disease stage. Okay, well I think this is uh, st st step three of, of, uh, of a piece of work that began uh, in 2014, initially with the launch of the toolkit, uh, followed by the written declaration on heart failure, and today it's the culmination of, the, of, uh, of that work, if you will, at the launch of a handbook uh, on multidisciplinary care. Yeah, very important is that uh, we came together uh, from all over the Europe and we, uh, we saw that we have the same problems in all countries. So first of all, heart failure is becoming the major problem of all societies. Secondly, we have similar problems with solving this problem, both financial but also organizational. The challenge that we are facing is so grand that if we do not perform these transformations, our health systems across Europe uh, will become unsustainable. And uh, instead of having health systems, we'll have more and more um, machines for inequality and disease. Actually, we are already seeing this in many fields. I'm here today for the launch of uh, the handbook and also to give my endorsement as a patient and as a patient representative. I hope that this document, this guide, is going to be adopted by stakeholders Europe-wide, enabling patients to have a minimum standard of health care. And the key message here is that um, right across Europe we are failing heart failure patients by virtue of the fact that despite, the, despite all the best practice guidelines out there, there is huge variation across Europe in terms of uh, 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 patient care and patient movement along the care pathway. I'm just an ordinary girl from the Netherlands who got pregnant when she was 31 and after pregnancy I had heart failure and I became this sick that I have to give up all I had in life and all I worked for. So I had no job anymore because I was too sick. I couldn't take care of my child because I was too sick and now I'm on the transplant list for a donor heart and I'm still waiting and hoping that I will get a phone one one of these days that there's a new heart and a new life for me. So I think one of the really uh, huge important messages that came out from this important meeting is that we have to change a little bit our approach. We have to listen uh, as a clinician to our patients, we have to understand their need and I think the booklet that we present today is a really fantastic breakthrough in order to really try to do something better for our patients. Cardiology and heart failure in particular are a very, very interesting example of how we can actually have a systemic intervention within health systems to perform better with extraordinary demonstrable results. Um, so there are a lot of European countries that they need specialization and specialist nurses for heart failure. Um, and heart failure nurses are very important on the management of heart failure patients and heart failure persons because studies have shown with, uh, with nurses we have a reduction in readmission, we have better quality of life, we have better satisfaction of patients and also their relatives and caregivers. It's a great opportunity for nurses in the UK and elsewhere to share their practice and use this handbook, I feel, as a lever and how we as nurses can contribute to the unmet need of heart failure patients. It's needed to engage the politicians, not only at European level, but also at national level, for promoting plans for improving the quality of care of heart failure. Of course, there are a lot of challenges, both in terms of reorganizing the systems, getting those multidisciplinary teams working together, getting the patient path flow properly working, and also then rethinking our whole financial model based on incentives that focus not only on the value in terms of health outcomes, but also the value from a patient perspective, which I think was another important aspect of the discussion today.
As you'll be well aware, uh, competencies for health systems are at the national level, but there's absolutely massive opportunities uh, for research and for collaboration to take place at the European level. It's very, very essential. We know from um, uh, health policy in the last decade how important that can be. If you look at tobacco, for example, the European dimension is critical. We're not seeing progress fast enough in heart failure. It's a massive issue. We can't wait any longer. We need support from national and European organizations. That's why we're here today.